Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 28, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the Greybridge pound and the US dollar should be here. So as you can see, we have basically bounced from the 300 moving average and we have been rallying for the last uh, week and a half, basically. We're approaching the top of the bullish band and it is looking really good. Probably main reason for this is because of the US dollar has been appreciating, uh, depreciating uh, the last uh, few trading days. And of course, that is bullish for the very British pound US dollar currency pair. You can see the MACD is bullish at this point, RSI is bullish as well, CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish. So there is still some uh, resistance above here. We have the 150, 50 moving average, and the 100 uh, moving average just above, and those should offer plenty of resistance as we are also approaching the top of the bull in Japan. So expect pullbacks from here. However, break above here, that could basically mean that we could go back to these previous highs. Get rejected here, then we head back to the 200 moving average, and then all the way down to the 300 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. We can see that we have fallen towards the 100 moving average down here at 109. And uh, we basically bounced from there. Quite a nice bounce. We also hit the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And uh, this is probably not the end of this. If we break below the 100 moving average, then we have the 150 right here at 108. However, we could also just go and find a stabilization here at the 100 moving average. However, technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CI is bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely to the downside of this at this point so we could see something similar to this as well before bouncing but yes this has basically been trading within a square for the last three weeks so let's look at the euro us dollar and uh, well this is not going anywhere um, except for down at this current stage it looks like the 20 exponential is offering a lot of resistance we did really test it yesterday um yesterday as and also today and we got rejected it's not until we basically break about the 20 exponential we go towards the 40 and probably also the 50 but at this point it looks like we're still in a downtrend we're technically not going anywhere at this point if you look at technical indicators they are fairly mixed macd is bullish in in um, negative territory rsi is flat cci is flat stochastic is very bullish and we are basically getting rejected here in the middle of the bullish band. We got up towards 11.84 and then we basically broke down. And now we're just hovering right here in the middle of the bullish band. Get, if you have an opening of red candlestick here, then we could drop back towards the bottom of the bullish band. And when we break, if we break below 11.70, then we could really drop down to 11.60. However, US dollar is depreciating. It has been for uh, the last few trading days and then, of course, will help this rally so let's look at the euro aussie us dollar this has dropped below we can get rid of this now so it looks like 20 exponential is offering a lot of resistance and taking at this moment these are selling opportunities or people are selling them when they get to the 20 exponential as we can see it here so we haven't reached the 20 exponential yet but expect this to happen when we reached to the reach the 20 exponential we are fairly um, nearly oversold at this point so we may stick around for a while at the 20 exponential if we don't break above it if we do break above it then 40 exponential uh, 0.74 will come into play us dollar is also depreciating so that also helps this uh, however other technical indicators they are well not very bullish they're fairly weak at this point macd is still just above the signal line but it's almost flat rsi is flat cci is uh, bearish and the stochastic is also flat at this point so at this point expectation is that 20 exponential is resistant and this will continue breaking down towards uh, a major resistant line a uh, support line down here at 0.70 or 69. so us dollar and cat so this has bounced from the 20 exponential and that is a really interesting sign you can see that here we bounce, here we take some time, we bounce, also here we bounce, and also here we bounce. And now, yet again, we find us in the same situation as we have done for at least four uh, times the last uh, 
last month and a half. And uh, we could see um, retest of the 300 moving average up here at 1273. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish. RSI is flat, CCI is basically flat, and the CASI is turning around. And we are also finding support in the middle of the bullish band. So we could see this rally up towards the top of the bullish band. That's a rally roughly 1% to the upside. Um, but but um, kind of looks like we are going to break towards the 300 moving average. Or it's basically everything points to this going higher than this going lower. And uh, crossing here as kind of the first step for this to go higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You're all support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.